Hello and welcome to the first episode of my Granada campaign. Of course, this is the option that won the in the poll. Uh, I, to be honest, I wanted to play as Inca because I'm reading a very fascinating book wrote by Buddy Levy, and it's called uh, The River of Darkness, and it it is saying some some things about uh, Inca and uh, another, the other natives of the South America. But the Granada won. I guess the next campaign may be uh, Asinka or Aztecs, we will see. So, uh, what is our situation over here? Our income is piece of shit, it's free. Our ruler is piece of shit, it's his 1-1-0. One, one, yeah, it doesn't look very good on the first sight. But it's a very easy game. So, my first thing to do will be to get alliances with Tunis. Yes, and with Morocco, two key allies. Second thing will be to get Clemson and Portugal as rivals. Start making claims on Clemson, uh, build spy network, improve relations with Morocco. We need uh, improve relations with them to complete mission. Here I will choose the co-creation coast. Maybe an advisor for something? Nope. Uh, of course, I will turn off the fort. Off the fort. Delete um, one transport ship. Create three galleys on its place. Mm -hmm. Now I will make some things with our estates. Get the general ship. Mm, recruit? No. Call diet. Demand military support. Over here I can get only the money, no nothing else. And over here I will give one prince to Ulema. It will be the province with fish. Um, I will therefore I will increase the influence and get a hundred administrative points. That were the first thing to do. First things to do. I will send of course the trade ships to increase our trade power in Sevilla. I will, you of course, use our merchants. Mm -hmm. Transfer trade power. Uh, what else do we need at the beginning? I will turn off the army and transfer it, transfer it to Morocco. But first of all, we need to get uh, we need to get our diplomat and send it there. Yes, ask for military access. Send the army using our two transport ships. Of course, I'm, I'm I'm playing on the maximum speed. Yeah. In the meantime, we should recruit. We should recruit two thousand of infantry and a thousand of cavalry. But we don't have money for cavalry for now, so we wait for it. Uh, we can get the royal marriage with Tunis. So what we are going to do? with our king, which is 110, is to just uh, let the disaster grant and war of succession uh, come, then let the rebel rebels enforce their demands, probably the rule that they want to establish on our throne will be much, way much better than our current one, so we just let them enforce it, uh, improve rations, let them enforce it, and in the meantime, I'm going to make a claim on Clemson and declare war on them. What are the allies? Yes, it's just Togorod. It's even, it's great that it's Togorod. I'm going to make them my vassal, I think. Okay, royal marriage with Morocco. Let's let's accept that it will improve our relations. And well, why am I improving relations with them? To get this. Uh, Moroccan dice, which will give me uh, some prestige and morale of armies. So yes, now we are playing on speed 5. Uh, I'm building the stacks. We need 6 more ducats to build uh, the stack of cavalry. To have uh, 2000 of cavalry. To use the flanking a little bit. And of course the cavalry at this point of the game is uh, much much stronger than the infantry. Okay, so one more month, I will be able to build my cavalry, successor of Vladislav, Władysław, and of course Poland, 
establish the personal union with Lithuania. So we've got 16 uh, on the spy network. That means we can turn on the army. Of course, we don't care about the about the about our that oh six six shock um, we could don't care about that potential debt for two uh, it doesn't stop the war of succession from happening um, we don't care about that because we take a bunch of money from the wars against Clemson and in the future from Castile and Portugal so that's the claim I'm now just waiting a little bit for Cavalry to be built to transfer it to fulfill the mission from Moral of Armies. For this one, we need to scornfully insult uh, Castile. So that's. Uh, I'm going to do that when our uh, truce expires. No, I'm going to do that immediately. They can't uh, attack me anyway. Oh, we don't have positive prestige to use that. So let's just send the normal insult. Yes, fulfill the mission. Uh, mission we just gained a bunch of claims on them, alongside with uh, God General. He was supposed to be God, but he's just free, free, free. So I'm going uh, probably to use the 061 General. Okay, the galleys are built now. Okay, here we go. You can hide. Same as you, and I'm going to get speed 4 and start the war. Okay, of course I'm going to call uh, one of my allies, I don't think I need to call Tunis, I will just be calling the Morocco. So let's get them into the war, and let's rush the provinces. Yes, they have 9000 of army, so the same amount as me. And they have not bad general, but mine is better. Of course, first of all, I'm getting the provinces on the border. Uh, so the Clemson is not going to occupy it, because if they did, uh, they would not transfer the occupation for me, definitely. I'm pretty sure about that. Okay, so now I'll be sieging this fort. I think I can take the Carvalho from it. So it won't die from attrition. Yes. And now we are just waiting to siege this province. Then I'll be rushing with this 3000 to Vehran. And the other provinces over here. So as I said, to Morocco, I have just to 23rd, 26th, hmm. 25th, 23rd. Okay, I can run away this way. Yeah, so, I'm doing that because uh, you can see that Morocco is not giving up the occupation to me. I come back to Ojda. And of course I will take a few loans, but that's not a problem. Uh, it is uh, very planned and it won't be a problem. Oh, Moroccans are dying. And if they will be going with just these little stacks, they could lose it, but they just came with 13,000 and stack wiped them. It means that I can ba come back to this one province. And yes, what is the disaster? 88%, so in a few months, in a few months, we will, we will, in two months, we'll be getting the War of Succession. I'm turning off the fort and letting them occupy the whole country and enforce the demands on me. Okay, one more month, oh, that's now. Uh, they immediately occupied the Maria, so now I need them to get my capital and Malaga. And the war will end then. Let's just hope it will happen as fast as possible and let's look what the ruler will be. Yusuf one. Five. Zero three four. He is not bad, definitely better than my ruler. So yes, give me him, please. Uh, okay. Roman invasion. Poland Poland just made Moldavia the march. I hope I will 
have enough time to go through the war of succession and the war against Clemson in this episode. So yes, my goal would be to add the at war with someone. Uh, just us. Yes, I'm going to make this little country our vassal. Do they have any claims? They have a claim on Zap. So then I will uh, declare war on Zap on, on, on their side. Uh, get these provinces from Togurt and all these provinces I will give it to my vassal. So I will save some administrative points for that. But that a little bit later. For now we need to siege down the forts in Tlemcen and it will get... Uh, I will spend some time on doing that. <laughs> okay, what is our war participation for now? 32% so maybe we should come and blockade the ports to get uh, more war participation. Yes, it will be the best way to do that. I see that's 28%. I need to be ready to rush into these two provinces. So the Morocco, yes, the Morocco will not get it from me. Let's get maybe a general with better maneuver. So I'll be first in this province. Yes, I will. You get here. Good. Good, 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 good. Very good. Occupy and go to the next province. And same over here. Yes. So every single province will be me for me. Will it? 1st July, 22nd June. Yes, I will occupy everything for myself. And my war participation is growing. Same as my uh, war exhaustion. But that's the and uh, that's the another, another story. Okay, go send it over here and send it over here. Okay, the Morocco will sh will surely help me in this siege, so I can go to Tugurwa <laughs> or something like that and go south. I will also add 1000 over here to get the war participation. Of course, the Morocco has more because they stuck with them in one of the battle, one of the battles. But that's okay. How is the siege of my capital? 42%. So I need them to get uh, my capital. Then this fort, which is uh, move bold, and so we'll get the better, the better king into our throne. Oh, they are occupying Tunis. Tunis is not at this war. They are at war with Jared and Zap. Okay, so as I said, I need them to... Oh, it's growing so fast. I need them to go and get this fort. And in the meantime, our truce with Spain ended. And they are allied just to Portugal. And Portugal is allied to England and Castile. So let's hope... England is losing so much. Let's hope. Uh, let me see. Uh, England would not help them. Let's hope uh, they will not attack us at the moment. I will want them to attack us, but after this war, definitely not during it. Because uh, in, def in a defensive war, Tunis and uh, Morocco would help me. In offensive, not really. Uh, Ceuta. I can get it. I will get this mission. And for this mission I need two stability. And Ulema for... To do what? Let me see. Ulema control 30% of our land. Can I give a promise to them during the war? I can. Okay, if I give it to them they would have 33%. We can get two stability. Yes, get the mission, which will give us six development in the capital. Yes, now we can get these provinces out of the Ulema control. It is 84% of influence, and that's perfect. Okay, these two forts should go down really soon. Same as they go, this fort go down. We will end the word of the succession. Yosuf Ultimatum, 214. And 
Uh, can't err. No, I don't want him as the heir. I want him as my ruler. So let's increase the war exhaustion. Yeah, they see that Malacca. So they should enforce their demands pretty soon. If not now, then in a few months. Mm, give him mercantilism, please. Where is our war participation? Well, why am I looking at the war participation? Mm, because... Uh, what I wanted to say, because... I wanted to take some money from Tlemcen. If we, and if we've got just 33% of the uh, war participation, we would get 33% of the money from the, our enemies. So it might not be perfect. Okay, let's maybe go with more thousand into this fort. So maybe more war participation for us. Yes, and we've got this. So let's maybe try to separate piece them. Vassal and money, just 20. Yes, we need this battle to be over probably. And because they still have some army, so they would not like to peace out. Okay, and what about the rebels? 40 months. So I need 40 more months for them to enforce their demands. Now, war exhaustion is growing pretty fast because of that. Oh, what is that? No! I need to decrease our war exhaustion because of that. Yeah, we spent most of our diplomatic power on that, but that's not the problem. Yes, and I want... Ah! I can't make it a core because my country is fully occupied by the rebels. Uh, but yes, as I said, we need some time to make it... Uh, to let the rebels enforce their demands. So, after I finish this war, I record the provinces, give part of them to, to my vassal, and uh, I will start getting ready for the war against Castile. And my goal against Castile will be to let them attack me. And I will be uh, uh, in an alliance with Morocco and Tunis, and together with three of us we should easily win against, against the army of uh, our enemies. So let's get this country as our vassal. That's the first thing. Now, I need to declare war on Zap. Let's declare. Let's go immediately into the lands. Anyway, I need to wait uh, a year for the rebels to enforce their demands. So no rush. Mm, you of course go stack wipe the army. Yes. Okay. Yes, and as I said, I need uh, to wait. Enforcing demands. Yes, it's uh, six more months. I don't think I will siege that down in six more months. I don't have any general with siege, so it, uh, it will take a little bit longer. What about uh, different missions? Can I fulfill any of them? I will be able to fulfill this one pretty soon, but not yet. So we'll be waiting to do that. What about this mission? Granada should have mosque and 20 development. It has 20 development, but it doesn't have mosque. I can't even build that yet. But soon, don't worry. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four loans because our income is pretty close to zero. Yes, 1.5 because our whole country is occupied. But that's not a problem, we take, we go out of it, we take some money from Tlemcen. I can check out, out how much, I can, but I don't know how, what will be the war score for these provinces for myself. Yes, I, will, I should be able to repay our loans from, from this war. And Morocco improve relations, great, let's give this province to our vassal. See, it's 14% and here it's 99, so in the next month, even this month, yes. Stability, so we've got free stability now, an air 3 to 2 he's not bad. New Emir, 5 3 4. yeah, he's great. Uh, 4 to 4 horror, not really a horror, I'm really glad. Uh, really prestige, national unrest missionary strength 
a mission that is giving me our manpower recovery speed and stats for our air. So our air is now 535. Perfect. Perfect start for our campaign. Of course, this stack of fleet can come back uh, home. I can take a loan and build and build more galleys because well, I don't even have sailors for that. Yeah, I wanted to beat guys to get uh, ready for the war against Castile because I would like with the help of uh, Morocco and Tunis to try to get the naval dominance in this region. Oh, this rebels even became um, my army. Oh, Portugal is so occupied. I should think about attacking Castile when the Portugal will be not willing to join the war. So, yeah. You will see. Okay, let's peace out uh, first of all Mzap, giving the provinces for my vassal and money. Now I can peace out Lemsen. I want all these provinces for myself. Yes, less amount of money. And how much Morocco will pissed off on me? Trust by 20. Hmm. How about uh, me getting these provinces of as my provinces of interest? Uh, mm -hmm. No, not this one. Yeah, my allies has already claimed it. Now it will decrease by just uh, still 20. Uh, what if... I don't get uh, these two provinces or these two, but I'll give this one to them to decrease our trust, they trust by 15. Uh, if I don't take this one also, they don't want it. Okay. Yeah, I, I need money there anyway, so the trust will be decreased by 15. At the moment, it's 50. So they should they should keep the alliance with us. If I take su such provinces, so let's get some money as well. Mm, these provinces, all these provinces. I should uh, keep this. Pro it will be on the border with Morocco anyway. Mm. But this province is uh, much more important. Mm, maybe something like this. Or like this. Yeah, it's nine ducats. I trust uh, decreased by 16. Okay, I will take something like that. What about. So it will be now by 16. Yeah, most of the money will go to them anyway. Okay, I'm sending the piece. Let's just hope they will keep an alliance with us. Mm. Okay, let's now give the provinces to our vassal. Grand province Titeri. Mm, by areas I will do that. I keep this one area for myself. So Titeri. Um, Korsene. Uh, Dahra. And Oran. Yes, and I will start improving relations with them because I'm going to an exam in 10 years. Uh, I don't need this fort in Africa. Potential rebels, there will be a lot of them. So let's get our army into North Africa. And yeah, start carrying provinces. Uh, I can call one province for now. The others are uh, outside my colonial range. So yes, now I'll be reducing our war exhaustion. Uh, I will be saving money. I can repay two loans, so let's do that. Let's turn off our army, turn off the fort. Are we over force limits? We are not, so that's good. And yes, this fleet, I can say, send the trade ships to protect trade. Why the rest? Can I send it? I am currently gaining C7 sailors each month. 
uh, we'll see how much we'll be using on these trade ships when they go out of the, of the port. Ducats, all trade efficiency and diplomatic power. Oh, du Ducats are at the beginning of the game are much more important. And we anybody would anybody help me against? Nope, they would not. Favors and favors. So I should Yeah, keep waiting for the Castile to attack me. Yeah, I turn off the army, I turn off the forts. So let's hope they just think that we are too weak and they should attack us. Yes, and I, I'm hiding the fleet to regain some sailors. In the meantime, we're calling the province. Decreasing war exhaustion. Our development is now 82. Mm, we can see the player's map mode. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So our next goal will be to get a war against Portugal or Castile. Castile would help them, so... For now, I'm not doing anything. I have claims. I'm improving relations to go out. Um, I should improve relations with uh, <laughs> Tunis as well, because they want my provinces. Regaining the sailors and hoping f f for Castile to attack us. Oh, England is taking Ceuta. Oh, I don't think I would be able to win against Castilians one versus one. Mm. Let me see the army. Castile. Castile has 23,000 and 31,000 of the force limit. They have the basic bonus at the beginning of the game, 15% of morales. I can see over here. Fifth, I just have 11,000 of force limit, so I would definitely not be able to win against them. 23,000. Maybe if I would go fully aggressive. I think 5,000 units over the force limit. No, it would be too risky. No, 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 no. I'll wait for our prestige to go positive. Um, maybe let's get an advisor for that. Yes, the prestige guy. Soon we should be able to get... We should be able to get the... Uh, the freaking technology. If I would be able to get either Morocco or Tunis into the war, I should also be able to defeat Castilians. But in this way, I'm not sure I'm able to do that alone. Let me see. Yeah, they both need the favors. What about our favors with them? I have free Morocco and free in Tunis, so I don't think I have any way of improving that for now. So I don't think I, I will be, I will do anything in this episode. Okay, I can call Clemson right now uh, and build Galley. Yeah, we need Galleys to fight, to fight the freaking, freaking, freaking Spanish Grand Armada. Yes, and our next goal will be to core the Ojda. So this is that province. Mm, anything to do with our um, with our estates? Maybe I could take some manpower. Let's do it. It will, will slowly increase to 40 over the time, and it was the maximum. It had the maximum amount of 15 that it is yeah, increasing automatically. So yes, uh, it, it will go back to the right place soon. Our manpower, thanks to that, is 11,000. I have the fourth technology, so if I would want to attack Castile, that's the moment. We don't when the, they don't have the technology, but but now Portugal, the Portuguese would help them. So nope, I'll be waiting for them to attack me. Yes, so we'll be just waiting for that. Uh, yeah, so I uh, I've um, penned all of my armies, and we'll be waiting for them to attack. If they won't attack, I'll be waiting to get uh, favors with Morocco, which is four right now, and Tunis, which is which is fourth, fourth, <laughs> four as well. I would uh, 
help me if they, I promise they land. Uh, yes, the only factor that is uh, here stopping them from helping me is the... Not this one. Is the favors part. So I just need favors. Oh, give me prestige. And... What is our indicator? We've got 18 piety. Oh, give me legalism. Because I have anyway the positive piety. And it would be still positive, even if I go into mysticism over here. Okay, so our income is now 4.3. Our vassal, will they have some rebels? Yeah, it's 15% and 30% on... 60% on my rebels and 30 on their. Um, give me administrative power. 14,000. Yes, I might think about increasing the, the autonomy in the provinces, but after making it uh, my full state, yes, then I might think about increasing the autonomy. Let's go build the next galley soon. I think we need two more months to do that. And yes, uh, I think I will end the episode in 1454 after 10 years of playing. So. Let's start building the next galley. Oh, one more month to do that. Okay, go here. Improved relations with Tunis. And the last galley to our collection. And we will be getting ready for the war against Castile. What about... Yes, four favors and four favors. We're getting ah, one every two years. That's too slow. Mm. And the Gorod is really big. Yeah, they have already fourth technology. I'm not really sure I can I can fight them. Okay, and rebels, why are we coming so fast? I've got just twenty three percent over here. Uh, there will be fourteen thousand of them. I use harsh treatment to make it later. And as I said, to increase the autonomy when I when I make that uh, my state, so the autonomy over here won't be a hundred percent, but around fifty percent. So I think for now it will be all for today. Our development is eighty-two. We've you can see conquered all these provinces, and we are getting ready for the war against Castile. So for now that's all for today. Thank you guys very much for watching, and see you. Soon. Yeah.